All right, yes, you're welcome to the Balanced Diet of Teletainment this early morning. Now, if you check your Google, you'll see the next bus stop we don't enter right now. Now, the one we consign a very cadget guest. Now, during the introduction of the show, we talk about the, today will be the International Day for the Girl Child. And we'll come once I give you some um, statistics we know they're we, we they too happy with. We know all go well with our belly, our bottom belly. And the one of them that say, when it comes to the Girl Child, you go see them say, uh, even with the 13 million children where they're out of school, 60% of these people are girls where they're out of school. And when you come outside, they look at mortality rates. That would mean, say, the way where people they cry, especially mother or child, they cry when it comes to childbirth. They say Nigeria now gets one of the highest mortality rates for inside the whole world. And they say, if you want to look at our position, say, Villa so would be number position 11 internationally with the highest mortality rate. Now, will they talk all this one because the guess what we get for our forefront this morning? Now, person, we get passion for where picking day. Now, person, too, we don't decide to do our own homework. And now, person, we get personal experience with our own. And now, we to bring about the passion. We make a constant now for our chair this morning. Come talk about waiting the project which they into, waiting they all about. We get Maya Wadia, your baby project partner with mother and child, and she even get project for children with neurodevelopmental disorder. Um, you're gonna to need to help me make welcome this young lady in our studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fantastic, fine, thank you. Okay, so we'll talk. Um, we we start from the project we 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 done the on ground for a couple of years now. We be the mother and child expo. Waiting bring about mother and child. For, for for your vision for your project, why you choose to get a project or they involved in a project, what did they call Mother and Child Expo? Um, the Mother and Child Expo, as how a mother and child, their main demography in, in the world, and um, there's always need for them. And the main brain behind this, Shagmok, maybe, just felt, ah, as a pastor, he has always been taking care of children, naming, doing baby christening. And he just felt then there's a need for it. If there's always something special, having a child, that was when he decided to go into this. And I was up fashion to work with children also. And um, we started working together for the past five years. This is the fifth edition of the Mother and Child Expo, reaching out to mothers, showing love to them because they are very, very important. We, we need so much love. We need so much attention. So every mother, every child needs love. So we try to, every year we bring every mother together and children. Even we encourage fathers to be part of it because we always have a lounge for them to get educated. You know, you feel at home and enjoy yourself as a parent. All right. Now, um, now very good one way to come outside because we know say when it comes to health care for inside our country, when it comes to health care for inside our country, yes, we get a lot of things. We know they're in place. We know they're in place in terms of childbirth when it comes to mother and child. And we know say um, so many things they happen to our, to our health sector right now as we speak. But speaking about you and your passion, what it make you, because I know so you get a personal story, what make you decide, say, you're going to need to refocus or you're going to need to bring out that passion where you get when it comes to picking. Tell us about what it happened to you. Okay, at a three, my son Samuel, I'm a single mom, and at a three, he started having seizures. And we went to the hospital, from the hospital, went to the private, and we got to know that there was no improvement. Instead of the child getting better, it's getting worse. I took him to the general hospital. I'm getting to the general hospital, no equipment in our government hospital. Though we have the uh, manpower, but we don't have equipment in the general hospital, which has not been helping us. So, and out there, so many mothers are going through pains, stress, they are being stressed, and whereby they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't get the, uh, the right um, care for their children. So you see so many parents being traumatized, at the, at the hospital, stressed. You know, I now start saying, at the end of the day, when I take my son to the hospital, I leave him with his nanny, and I start to help some mothers out with their children because so many mothers are not happy with what they are going through mm -hmm. at the hospital. So, and working, seeing the mother and child expo, when I saw that, ah, Mr. Ashagun, this is your passion, then we can work hand in hand to care for these children, both the able and disabled. They might be disabled physically, but mentally they are very able and active. So in this country, we, we, I think I want to encourage and every one of us to show love to these children, even their mothers, 
because the, the, the stress is more on the mothers. If a mother does not, is not in the right state of mind, the child is not getting better on a daily basis. Very, very true. Now, this um, the Mother and Child Expo, tell us within, um, how the last one be there, or waiting be the focus for this particular year's edition. And also, Nabi Joan, last year, waiting be the focus for last year's edition. Last year's edition was um, working on, uh, getting, making people get informed on the rate of the maternal mortality rate. But this year, we want them to enjoy themselves. When you themselves. say maternal mortality rate, you're going to need to break it down. Because some, someone like me now, they wonder, even if I go to school, well, that's break gamma. Okay. The maternal mortality rate is high rate of mothers dying after birth, even some before birth, because of the lack of equipment in the country, lack of information. Because even though they say they go to antenatal, for antenatal care, they don't get much information. You hear those nurses, especially at the government hospital, maltreating them and talking to them and all. So anytime any mother thinks of that, uh, the way they'll be treated at the hospital, they'll say, hmm, I'm not going for that uh, care, the meeting today, or I'm not going for, the, um, the, the, for my clinic today. So, but that was, why, that was the reason we came together, that, okay, let's just always have a gathering whereby we would bring um, educational, uh, uh, the, the experts who are in this field from the from their nutrition to the health care, the, the doctors who are coming to educate mothers on how to take care of themselves so that we can reduce the mortality rate. That is the way normal of mothers that die before or after birth. So that was for last year. So for this year, what's going to be the focus for this ah, year? This year's own is enjoyment, mm -hmm. baby shower. We want them to enjoy life. You know, we always say it's just a rich man that will go out there to have a baby shower. But this time around, we want every mother to, every pregnant mom to understand and enjoy herself and have every bit of the, um, of the um, before and after birth uh, of their baby. Whereby they enjoy themselves, they're so relaxed and they have, enjoy every bit of it. Fantastic. So, where, so when you say you want them to enjoy, how they go fit enjoy and waiting be the uh, uh, competition day or anything day with the shelle? There is huge competition at the at Villa Event Center on Saturday and Sunday. 13th and 14th of this month. 13th and 14th of this month. Now yeah. there it will happen. Now there competition will share. Competition. It. And everything will share. It. So really, tell us some of the people we will come talk and um, in their field or their specialty. So that at least people they watch go know, say, okay, oh, this one will happen. So if you consign me or if you get sister or wife or cousin or friend, we're going to need this kind of information when it comes to pregnant women for inside our country. We have different people coming. We have the midwife coming. There's a young lady who, who is experienced young lady, she's a midwife, she wants, she has, she has been, she has been born in, in her to teach mothers on how to take care of themselves at, before and after birth. Then we have the fitness thing, whereby every mother needs to go back to her shape. Before, you know, they, they, we have this kind of mentality <laughs> that so mothers, after having one child, they are so relaxed. And no, but I don't go lie. At this point, I need to choke mouth because when it comes to going back to your shape after, I mean, now nowadays you get you can't be like say there's this kind of pressure because when they see a lot of celebrities, they go born less than two months, they don't caca, they've gone back and they go tell you say they're not doing plastic surgery. It looks almost unbelievable. But but we're not saying going back or getting your shape back is very important for your health in particular, mm -hmm. and not necessarily just to show off to people. But the other, on the other hand, it's not easy. You feel talk, I feel talk, I say, it's not easy to get back to shape after childbirth. So, I mean, this one way they do now, that's something where they're very important but for women to know, because some people, they talk, especially the men, they talk, say, eh, because say, you don't, eh, she don't born one, and she don't drop one after one, she will just they do anyhow, anyhow. Is that really true? It's not. That's why you need to come to the Mother and Child Expo to get educated. From the medication, uh, from your medication, your feeding, then fitness. There are ways you can take care of yourself. You don't need to go and do plastic surgery. There are very beautiful ways you can get educated on how to go back to your shape after birth. Fantastic. So um, it will go happen on the 13th and 14th, 14th of October, October 2018. That's so tell Saturday us um, where Sunday. people get more information on top. Because I know say for the competition, people go one day interested. So where people get information on top of um, all of this project where they happen? Go on our social media page. We have the uh, Mother and Child Expo on the uh, social media page. Go to the Facebook. Go to our website, the um, www.motherandchildexpo.com.ng. Come there and you get the necessary information you need to. All right, now go like ask now. Tell us about some of the challenges we will not see or we will not get last year. We will not be things we will not go. 
una go over. Una, it, Oibogo say he didn't see it coming. So tell us some of the challenges we wanna be get based on last year's edition and how wanna improve. Um, last year we we had more of the uh, those on the mainland coming for the expo. So last year the the Ibishele for island. Island. For Lagos Island. Island. Lagos yes. Island. Okay. And more of the mainland. Uh, mainlanders came in from for the event but this time around we, we've been able to reach out more to the highlanders so to be part of this event education information is not so much for anyone i bet tell us is this a paid event for people who just want to learn all these things it's free absolutely absolutely free, free. where be the venue for this event a villa event center just by city of david Oh, on the new road. On the new road on the island. Legally Ayorindi. Legally Ayorindi. And what time you go share on, on Saturday? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. On Saturday. Saturday. And on Sunday? On Sunday, 12 noon to 6. To 6 noon. All right, um, I know say you, you, um, when I get competition, so I'm going to help you announce the competition. Now, for any pregnant woman, they get a package. For pregnant women in particular, and this package is free of charge, all you need to do now to follow their page on top of Instagram at Mother and Child Expo. Make sure say, you tell them why you need to win the package. You know what the package? be one million naira worth of baby product. Not talk say no year ramu. One million naira worth of baby product. Nine they actually give away for free from whether na baby diaper or whether na waiting the baby cosmetics or whether na what you need for your baby. All natural. They go make sure say they go give you. And if you look this product, they go feel last for up to a year. At least the first year mm -hmm. of that child. At least most of the major product go they adequate to cater for that picking. A lot of us they, they out there on the one that say you don't get belen now. How I go take that money to take care, get picking food, get picking diaper. You don't hear and now mother and child expo they give out free product. But you go need to go to their page. Tell them why. You deserve this gift, and you go need to tell your people. See, maybe they can't like that. I don't know if so. They go like yeah, the comments. So. Now, mm -hmm. the one we get the highest comment, now you go actually um, get this particular prize the one million naira worth of baby product. We're supposed to last it for a year at least. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming inside Thank this you. morning. And, and uh, we always get to support projects like this for the mother and the child Thank because you. we know, say, pregnant women for Nigeria, we know, say, a lot of things that they happen to them, especially when it concerns our health sector, mm -hmm. and we're always there to support. Thank well you. done. To enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.